this is Joy and today we're making this really cute if you care at all card and this is from Just Because Cards the new Cricut cartridge that just came out um, a lot of tips on this so you want to be sure and watch this video lots of tips that you need to know so let's get started okay here's our cartridge handbook for Just Because Cards and there's some little tricks here to this cartridge like there are to all of them and I want to go over them real quick Step one when you get this cartridge is to go ahead and starting with the very first card, put a one on that page and then go through each page in the handbook. See, then there's two and three. And go ahead and number each one of those. Those are gonna to correspond to your keys on your overlay and you're gonna to need to know about this because in the back of the book, on the bottom row is all envelopes. But these envelopes, also on this page tell you which cards they work with so if it's cards 1 through 10 or 11 through 15 that's how it's labeled on here with the envelope well if you haven't labeled what card number it is you will not know which envelope fits which so I want you to go ahead and do that now the other thing is here's our overlay and you can see that there are rectangular shapes on it there, there is no way to tell what card those rectangular shapes are just by looking at the overlay. So if you've gone ahead and numbered, you're going to now know what corresponds with what. And that's going to, see there's no chick, there's no car, so you're not going to really know. So it helps to have that labeled for when you're trying to put things together. Now today's card is this, if you care at all. And how this works, now if you look, there's no card, there's just the envelope. Well, that envelope corresponds to all the cards in the column above that key. So if we look at our overlay, um, that last row is all envelopes, and this key here, this is going to correspond to everything in the column above it. So it's key 49. All those cards above key 49 in that column are going to fit in that envelope. So that's going to also help you to understand that. So I wanted to kind of go over that so you knew what was happening. And there, if you're in key 48, all those cards are going to fit in that envelope, etc., etc. All right. Okay, the next step is I went ahead and cut card number, I want to say it's 19, and that has a truck on it. It's going to match. It's going to be the right size for this if you care at all. Now, what happened that's kind of odd is the idea is you should be able to cut everything at the same size. So I cut this card out at five inches and I got a five by 10 inch card. And then when I went to cut the word art, you can see it's a little big. It's a little bit too big actually. And that was five inches also. So I'm not sure why that happened. That's maybe a last row phenomenon because I have not found this with the other cards, but just FYI. So then I went ahead and cut it at two and a half. I just went down by half and that's going to go ahead and work. So just another FYI. Okay, let's go. Now here I have three sets of carrots. I have cut, I cut them at four inches and I'm going to go ahead and layer them. I'm using my tweezer B tweezers and I'm also using um, my Scotch quick dry glue. I'm doing something here I would not actually recommend. <coughs> I would not put that center green piece in at this point like I did in the video. So learn from me, oops, and don't drop that on upside down, but learn from me and you want to do actually that as the last step, which you'll see in a minute, because that actually needs to get lined up with the shadow piece, the brown piece. So as I layer this, you'll be able to see why maybe I should have waited. And so you get to learn along with me. Um, that one turned out okay, but really it's better to, it would have been better to have layered it step by step and left that darker green piece till the end. Here is where I think we see it. Yeah, I can't quite cover all the orange. I'm trying to massage it, but it's not really working. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. And then this word art, it's simple. It's a very simple overlay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that right on there. So no big deal with that one and massage that kind of into place and then that works. Now here, this is a piece that goes with the card and um, it's a nice little scallop piece. I'm planning to use that again later. It was cut at um, five inches because it goes with the card. And then those smaller pieces, the pocket, it's not really a pocket because we're not going to pull that back out. That's cut at three by three and qu three quarters. And then the inside polka dot pieces just down a quarter inch at two and three quarters by three and a half. So not, not hard to do at all. Um, 
I'm going ahead and <laughs> assembling this kind of in an interesting way. You can kind of see my thought process. Try it out, wiggle it around, see what I think. You know, um, I kind of work that way. I'm not particularly um, exacting um, because, you know, there's always a card, another card to make tomorrow. So I don't really stress out about some of this stuff all, all that much. Maybe I should a little bit more, but, you know, whatever. It's card making. We're supposed to be having fun here, people. <laughs> okay, so now on to the last step. Um, I have to tell you, I did ink edges of things. I just didn't show it in the video or this would have been too long and you would have been bored and nobody wants that. All I do on the inside of card is really simple. Just add a little strip of pattern paper, just something to kind of continue the theme. And then you're done. It takes like two seconds, as you see. So I hope you have a great day and visit us at CricutHoliday.com. Take care. Mm -hmm.